The movie is about uh, Twilight Sparkle, of course. She's the princess of friendship. And uh, she is trying to put on the most perfect festival of friendship ever. It's the first one that's all under her. Uh, it's just about, you know, friendship. It's basically her job to make everybody um, feel like they can make friends and, and uh, never let anybody down, she says. Um, and uh, so she's really, really worried about things not going perfect because she's such a perfectionist. And um, of course, her friends, being who they are, kind of uh, get in the way and mess things up. And she, things aren't going perfect, so it's it's a it's a struggle for her. Um, and it especially is compounded when the Storm King's army, led by uh, Tempest, the commander, um, shows up to to the sort of take over Equestria. That really puts a rain on her parade. <laughs>We give feedback to the actors in the moment, and as we're, you know, listening to the performance, we kind of adjust it on the fly, like, oh, that could be a little pushed, or, you know, for animation, maybe that needs to be bright brighter, but actually you're doing something really cool here, maybe go with that, you know, let them, let the actors feel the character, and then have that change the performance that we do, because I think that's a, a, a better way of going, you know, like, let, let that acting uh, dictate. You know, of course, we we want to we want to be given a performance that we that will make it better. You know, and uh, and give us something we hadn't thought of before. That's really a lot of personality, because personality is absolutely the name of the game here. Um, yeah, so it's that's been a real treat to have uh, to have in our roster. The songs in the in the movie are really strongly tied to the narrative uh, throughout the, the, the story that we're telling. Um, so that's been something that we've gone back and forth in. As we've been telling the story uh, and, and working it out, um, we really wanted to tie in all of the lyrics and the feeling of the songs with moving, always moving the story forward, not stopping the story to sing a song and then go back into it. It is all tied to the narrative. Um, so it's... Uh, it's, it's really, it's, it's another level of storytelling, you know. Music is also storytelling. Um, and, it, and it takes you on an emotional journey. So that is vitally important to um, how the story is unfolding before your eyes and ears. <laughs>
epic big worlds that uh, surround the ponies and uh, the way that they that their their ensemble cast works so well together. It's always about making friends and about how important friends are, um, and we've. You know, we told that story so many times in the series, like how do you tell that again in a bigger way? And so that's why we had to get outside of our comfort zone uh, of Equestria and maybe go beyond to where people and creatures do not know of friendship. They have to learn from scratch. And it, uh, that's what sort of felt like the next level of My Little Pony, because you know, the ponies live in this sort of utopian landscape and all their problems are sort of you know, minor, really. But if we want to go to a feature, we want to make everything higher stakes, right? So uh, leaving their comfort zone felt like the right thing to do and uh, bringing f the message of friendship to people who've never heard of it before. Um, and it's a bigger challenge for Twilight, too. Like, she's being faced with all these things that just don't work the same way she's used to. So it's even um, more of a challenge for her to grow as a character because she's already done so much growth on the series that you know we don't want to just repeat ourselves but we also want to bring it to a new audience